In this module, we are going to look at the classification of matter, specifically the different types of compounds. So from last week, I want you to remember that compounds are homogeneous substances with more than one type of atom. And we can classify compounds into four different categories. Compounds can be ionic, they can be covalent, they can be acids, or they can be organic. And the key thing we want to start looking at to tell the difference between them is what sort of elements are found in them. So, on the periodic table, elements can be classified as either nonmetals, which are the shaded area on this periodic table, or as metals, which is the unshaded area on the periodic table. Now, in an ionic compound, we have a metal and a nonmetal in the compound. And the one special case for this is that NH4, if you see that as a group, is treated as a metal. In an ionic compound, the name will end in "-ide", "-ite", "-ite", or "-ate". Covalent compounds contain all nonmetals. And in a covalent compound, the name can only end in "-ide". Acids are similar to an ionic compound, but they have hydrogen serving as a cation, meaning hydrogen is going to be the very first thing in the formula. And all acid names end in the word acid. And an organic compound is a compound containing mostly carbon and hydrogen. And organic compounds, are, their names are going to end in ane, ene, ein, or all. So let's try to classify a few compounds and see what we can come up with. First practice, sulfuric acid with a formula of H2SO4. Well, if I look at it, the name ends in acid, and if I look at the formula, hydrogen is listed first. Both of those characteristics mean that that compound is an acid. Practice number two, dinitrogen pentoxide, N2O5. Name ends in ide. If name ends in ide, that means it could be ionic or covalent. So I need to look at the compounds, and I see that it contains all nonmetals. Both nitrogen and oxygen are nonmetals. If it ends in ide and contains all nonmetals, then it is covalent. Next practice, sodium chloride, NaCl. Well, the name ends in ide, so that means it could be ionic or covalent, so I need to look at the chemicals, and I see that sodium is a metal, and chlorine is a nonmetal. So it contains a metal and a nonmetal, and if it contains both a metal and a nonmetal, it is ionic. And our last example, propane. Propane has a formula of C3H8. Now, if I look at it, its name ends in ane, and if I look at the formula, it contains hydrogen and carbon. Both of those are indicators that our compound is organic. So that is how you can identify the four types of compounds. Each one has a different naming system, and we're going to learn about those later. This ends the module on classification types of compounds.